Hello, Bola. Yeah, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I will see you soon. Yeah, just calm down. I'm on my way. I will call Jane now. We will be on our way, okay? Okay, just calm down, okay? All right. Bye bye. Hi, Axi Give. What did you do? What did you force my son's house to do for you? Tori Momo Timobi. He has his own clean business. I don't understand. Why would my son commit a financial fraud? Sir, so, I don't understand what you're insinuating here. Me? It's to do it. It's not your fault. Mommy. <laughs> please, take it easy. Chris and Jane are on it and they'll get back to us shortly. Bolali, are you sure this Jane is a good lawyer? Mommy, she is. Ah! Are you in New York? Since I've been in this America, I've never had any problem with police. Not even a ticket to carry you. 15 years now I've been in this America. Oh, my son met a strange lady. Within a month, they arrested him for financial fraud. And this one is here, telling me that I'm Mr. Munyesi. What is Mr. Munyesi lady? See, I'm trying my best not to insult you at all. Insult me. Because I don't understand why you're blaming me for your son's arrest. At least your daughter was here when they arrested your son for wire fraud. Not for marrying me, because that's the only thing I'm guilty of. Thank God. You know you are guilty of marrying my son. I don't have time for this. Mommy. <laughs> Mommy. Why are you blaming me? Stop blaming me, but I never me. You are dead. You allow your brother to go and break this witch. You are here blaming me. Mommy, it's your duty to take care of him. He's your son. Oh, no. Oh, you can imagine, at the first sign of it, she's running. Why not tell your mother to stop blaming you on the act of a fraudster son? God forbid, my son is not a fraudster. Then he's a young boy, and he's a to My law, my law, who treat that to bad rubbish? My law! <laughs> Mommy. Yeah, I'm me. Well, I know your brother wants to kill me. Thank you so much. I said it. I know the God I saw will never let me down. Ah! Upon the idea. Welcome home, my son. Ah! I know, thank you, God. Me, Batomo Lomo Jen. Thank you. You are Jay, right? Ah, thank you so much. But Ali told me you are a good lawyer. Thank you so much. God bless you. So, how is it now? Um, everything is fine. He was arrested for something that happened in his club. And he wasn't even there when those things happened. So, mm. so my son was wrongly accused? Yes. I said this. Mm -hmm. ah, thank you so much, my daughter. God bless you. Ah. Omoto, Omori, Yemi, Omoto, Omori, oh, you want some French food too? Oh no, man. thank you, I'm good. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. Oh, thank you so much. Ah. I'll talk to you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Jim. I'll see you soon, my love. Bros, I think you need to go solve your problem. I'm okay now. Hmm? Bros, don't worry about that one. I'll sort that one out. And uh, meanwhile, where is the uh, mm -hmm. my yeah, because I've been waiting to I've been waiting to meet Lapsi. My son! God will not let you to meet her. Amen! He has gone and gone forever. What did you do to her? Uh -uh. Yeah, me! Me! What did I do to her? I what did she do to me? Oh, yeah, Jemmy. What really happened? What happened? Ah, Jemmy, yeah, I tell you, me, I'm Mommy, show your brother what happened. 
Mamoje hivi ya jemia usoro simi uwa mile churutu Uwa mile uwa mile You called me a froster. So what do you expect me to do? At least still hang around. Hang around for what? For my insult from your mom? You know what beats me? Is the fact that you were quick to jump into conclusion. You, you called me a froster, a yahoo boy. Did they tell you what they said to me? And even at that, still. You... So you're minimizing the effect of what your mom's utterances did to me? Because they said I called you a froster? I called you a yahoo boy. So tell me what your arrest was about. You know, I, I guess I, I expected too much from you. Like what? Like trusting me. At least giving me the benefit of the doubt. How do you expect me to do that? I don't even know you. Seriously? I don't know you, Yemi. I don't know what we're doing together. We are complete strangers pretending to be spouses. You haven't even met any member of my family yet. You don't know shit about me and I don't know nothing about you. So don't come at me telling me about trusting you. You know what? You're right. I was wrong. I was wrong to think that discovering each other is, you know, better than knowing. I was wrong to actually remember that we discovered each other. I felt even married people don't have that. I felt that both of us were trying to dismantle this, this stereotypical idea of marriage. Well, I'm sorry I was wrong. It felt so good. I guess I will have to suppress this sort of ocean of emotions trying to rise. Take care, Jumai. Jumai, you know you're just a strange girl. It's nothing, Auntie. It's just something that happened when we were both wasted. Oh, so you guys are still wasted. Wasted in love. Love? <laughs> you're being dramatic. Well, all I know is you are giving us more reason why we should fight this cancer. An opportunity for love. For you to start your own family. Auntie, you're taking it too far. I don't even think Yemi wants me like that. The question is, do you want him like that? But I don't even know him. Then get to know him! <sighs> Mommy! Mommy! Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. How are you, my daughter? Well, I am doing great, and how can I help you? Oh, well, I told me what happened between you and my son, Yemi. 
I'm here for us to find a solution. <laughs> and if I may ask, what kind of solution is that? You know what? You two are good together. I'm here to solve the misunderstanding you people are having. You know, it's my son and he's going to listen to me. First of all, I've been calling him for past few weeks. He's not picking my call. So I don't know what you're talking about here. Mm -hmm. That I can solve. In fact, if you want to see him face to face right now, I can make it happen. Listen, madam. All I just want to let him know is I am pregnant. Although I've already sent this friend to him. You are what, Rosa? Pregnant. And who is responsible for this pregnancy? Your son, of course. Ha! Ha! Moshari, oh, well, let me, Mojupe. What is she Moshari, doing? Moshari, hello, let me. She's a little to be a grandmother. Oh, it's a dance of joy. Oh, hello, Mojupe. <laughs> sorry, oh. sorry, sorry, madam. Huh? I am sorry to cut short your celebration. I am not keeping this pregnancy. Ah, Rosa, Jo, Shanu, me, my shiba, I fool me. I will take care of you and the child. Please, Rosa, I just want you to do one thing for me. If I may ask, and what would that be? Just agree to marry my son. <laughs> See, that is impossible, okay? Ah, Rosa, do make it possible. Shanu, I hear me. Make it possible. Ah, Bolale, talk to Rosa. Listen, I just have to go, okay? Ah, Rosa, my law. Rosa! Rosa! Bolale, Rosa, law. Rosa, ah, oh no, Shanu, I am you. But you call some more Rosa, I am no. Rosa, what are they? Are you not going to pick up your phone? I know who it is. I'm not picking. <sighs> Linda, don't even try it. He's Derek now. He's your boss. Why would you pick? <sighs> I actually thought it was Chris. Hello, Derek. But I just left the office a moment ago. No, Derek. No dinner. We'll talk about it when I get to the office tomorrow. Yeah. <sighs> but it is just a dinner date now. Why are you behaving like this? That one is the reason I'm having a fight with Chris now. So a dinner date is the last thing I should be having with him. Says who? I beg you, Jare. Uh -uh. Please, babe, you need to open up your option. That is how it is done this day. Don't dull it at all. Ah. Thank you. Advisor, I've heard you. Uh -uh. Your phone is ringing again. Hey, hot cake. Uh -uh. Your phone is just blowing up since the morning. Lawyer is calling on the left. Doctor calling on the right. Only you. Ah, God, please. Just give me one man. Just one man. I've... Ah, God. Ah. Should I hook you up with uh, Paul? Chris's brother? Ah. Uh. Hell no. Ah, uh -uh. babe. You are selfish, oh. So you know you want to use me to pave your way so you guys can get married on time. Mm -mm, it no. wasn't like that. Mm -mm, thank you. Mm -mm. Okay. I'll, I will remain single. Thank you. Anyways, uh -uh. I was just trying my luck. Mm -mm, thank you. Uh -uh. Imagine. Chris brother. No, no. He's not that bad. No. Thank you. <laughs> one, one. My mind is not even there. Hmm. Don't tell me this is about Jane. Yes. 
how she keeps ignoring my calls like that kind of thing. You know, I think you just give us space. You will come around. I can't just afford any space right now. Because that good for nothing boss of us will just squeeze in if I give this little chance. And I'm not taking any chances, bro. I'm not. <laughs> you know, this is um, funnily ironic. Two heartbroken grown up men. Drinking, playing pool, alone in a bar. This looks like scenes for women, not men. Really. That's a sexy statement. Meanwhile, you are not supposed to be heartbroken. Or are you saying you are in love with this Jumai uh, girl for real? Let's just say I am disappointed. You know, I think I'm heartbroken because I expected too much from a stranger. But it's okay, it's life's lessons. Well, that means you're going to annul the marriage, right? About time, I believe. <laughs> and the right time to face the other problem, which is. Rosalita, of course, and her pregnancy. I know you're there. I just need you to listen to me for a while. I know I disappointed you. I sent you under the bus without a second thought. It was very thoughtless of me. I admit it and I apologize. But the truth of the matter is, I still don't know you. I asked myself this question for a few days. Do I really want to know you? The answer is a big yes. I want to know you, Yemi. I want to know you because you're bringing a new meaning to life for me. I want to know you because of the surge of the ocean of emotions you're feeling. I'm feeling it too. I want it to flow freely into yours, Yemi. I want to know you. For the record, my favorite spot is golf. What about that? It's good. It's good. to be born out of wedlock. You know, she's... And you are responsible. Rosa! Grandchild? Oh, you yeah, like to eat my darling. <laughs> Grandchild? Come on, I'm going to be 